Welcome back to Snow Falls Farm. I got a little gear review for you today that you can look at after I load the boiler up. It's a warmer day. It's about 30 degrees or so. And uh, we have a new tool on the farm that I found to be very helpful so far in our walks around and blazing trails. <clears throat> yeah, the warmer temperatures should make it easier to keep the wood boiler happy. So I've been looking for something that I can easily take with me on walks that I can quickly clear up some some brush, some saplings, some branches, just to blaze trails for snowmobiles walking. And uh, I really like the Fiskars stuff. So I thought maybe a nice Fiskars, you know, machete would be good. But I've had machetes in the past. Not by Fiskars, mind you, but probably didn't give them a fair shake because it seems like they are just not very well built. Most of the machetes I've used seem like they're dull and not well planned out. Don't hold a good edge. Just awful to hold. But Fiskars has a lifetime warranty on their stuff. Cute little one. Loading this thing's like a puzzle, you know? Alright, let me show you what I got. Alright, I got a Fiskars brush axe. Okay, and I've modified the sheath a little bit to make it a little easier to carry. Um, just trying it out so far. It's not really permanent yet. You can see I'm using zip ties. I haven't even clipped them yet. And I got a piece of uh, webbing that I use over the shoulder. Okay, like this. So I can carry it around with me. And I look kind of like a ninja, which is always a plus. So let's continue doing some chores. And then we'll uh, get you out so you can see it working. See, it does ride back there pretty good like this. We'll get to walking with the dogs. And we'll uh, see if we can show you a variety of things this thing is good at mulching through. Okay, here's a good example of a trail around here where we got a lot of sticks and things that are encroaching on the trail itself make it a little bit difficult to get around. So let me show you a couple of my problems with this tool. I've used it quite a bit and we have some edge issues, okay? So, I don't know if you can see that there, but there's a chip missing right here. And this point is gone and I've, sin I've already resharpened this point, okay? The rest of the edge is holding pretty good. Now that, that's a pretty good nick right here. Okay. And I'm hoping that I can, I can repair and fix that. I mean, they do have a lifetime warranty on, uh, you know, their edge tools. So I could send it back in and uh, get a replacement but I think I can probably doctor that up with some uh, sanding. Another thing I've added is I think it's imperative that you have 
um, some banding on here. They got a hole for it already. I know that technically they want you to kind of put the band around your hand like this. But I find that this does not stay like that for more than like two seconds. So it feels good when you first set it up. Uh, you can wield this with two hands, like some sort of samurai knight thingy. But if you grab with one hand, you can slice to the other one. Or, I mean, it's sharp enough you can just go after it. You can limb with it pretty well. Or you can just take a little bit off. I mean, it's like, it's like butter going through this stuff. It's insane. It has a lot of good head weight, you know, with that axe head on it. This is pretty soft stuff. I don't know, that one's mostly like swamp maple, you know. The, the great thing about um, a machete versus an axe, because I have a, I have some of the Fiskars axes too that it, it moves much faster, you know, through the air and keeps the film open. And with such a sharp edge, it cuts right through stuff. And you don't have to be as accurate, right? Because with an axe, you know, if I wanted to, you know, slice that off, I would have to really line it up. Because the blade on that, you know, is not even as big as the blade here. My small hatchet, anyway. My uh, my boy's hatchet is, is even smaller than this, probably like three inches. Uh, but this, you can hit it anywhere in this whole blade, but still, at least cause some damage. That's a tough one. There we go. I feel like I'm helping the beaver out here. Again, you can kind of hook stuff and move it around too with this little brush hook part of it. So it's really like three tools in one. You got a machete, you got a brush hook, you got a hatchet, all in, in one tool. And generally speaking, they're usually not good at anything when they're trying to do that much stuff at once. But um, I'd say the compromises work out in the case of the Fiskars uh, brush axe. Okay. I've found that you don't generally have to swing too hard either. It, uh, but when you do, these holes make cool noises. <laughs> And I, I don't know if they're trying to lighten it down or just make it look like a zombie killing device, but um, these holes do whistle when you swing it really hard. And, uh, but I don't find you have to do that. It's really important to pace yourself with a tool like this because you can get very worn out and fatigued. All right, here's another good old patch. So the dogs like to explore around. Cut a trail for us. All right, we're getting to some thicker stuff out here. Well, this is just, you know, fern, fern stuff. But this is, that's thicker stuff. So look at that. One slice, gone. And then you can take it down even more. That one's gone. And it's just gone. I actually had to swing it a little more. That one. It's insane though.
We need to get a close-up of some of that. Okay, we got you in on this little bundle here. Uh, if I had to guess, three quarters of an inch, you know, maybe an inch top. Do I stand here? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna give that a swack. One hit. Look at that. I cut halfway through the next one. Gone. Just like that. Good work, see. And if you need it shorter, gone. Gone. That one's thicker. Gone. Alright, now we're just murdering things. It's kind of the point though, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Again, we don't want to hit dogs. Like how you're in the... Oh, you almost took the camera out. I mean, way faster than a hatchet. That was two at once. I mean, look how clean... Look how clean those cuts are. One swipe, two, two uh, brush trees, gone, gone. I mean, you could see how it takes no time at all to clear out a, an area. I mean, it's not the cleanest stuff, but mostly you gotta take this stuff down. Then you can bring it down uh, closer later. I mean, I got snow everywhere, so it's hard to see where the stumps even are with this thing uh, it's underneath the snow all right i wanted to show something a little bit thicker here this is probably inch and a half this other one over here is about two inches thick so it's going to be a little bit harder for this to slice through definitely want to concentrate on the, the hatchet side of this. And one hit wonder, it is gone. Just like that. Okay. Let's try this uh, limb over here on this one first. Okay, that was like half a swing. really good at limbs, you know. <laughs> you almost need safety gear just because it's like, I mean, it drops stuff so fast. All right, so we just slice through more than halfway there. We'll come at it this way. Oops, <laughs> missed. <laughs> the accuracy, right? Not so good. There we go. Also never fails that every time you cut something down, it lands on your head. So those are gone. Not sure what this is. I think it's basswood. It's pretty soft though. So just to show you some cutting force here. And again, how thick that is in relation to the tool. Okay. It's good at stuff like that. It is soft wood, of course, but. So, would I recommend the Fiskars brush axe? I think I would. I mean, ultimately, you have to make your own decisions, but for my purposes of being out here and cutting brush along the trail, a lot of uh, river growth is, you know, it's just fast growing. It's not the, the hardest of woods. So we can knock it out pretty quickly with a tool like this. Um, so the brush ax works really good uh, for the kind of terrain and plant life we have around here. Um, yeah, the edge is a little concerning and nicks like that are not uncommon at all uh, with machetes, normal machetes. 
and I'm pretty confident that I can take that back down. This compound edge is going to be the hardest to sharpen. I'm going to need a round file. Um, I do have the Fiskars knife and axe sharpener, and I might be able to draw through that curve. That curve is really important for ferns and smaller brush uh, because it will gather it up as you slice. It will pull across the blade and kind of gather up in that little notch, and that will that will take that out uh, better than you know a regular machete does, unless it gets a little fatter towards the end. There's some that are like that. Um, the handle is excellent. You will notice that it's not like the other Fiskars tools. It's not hollow all the way through, so you can't like extend it. You can't baton it very easily. Um, so that, you know, I don't think you'd want this on a longer stick, but I've seen people with machetes so get a, a oak handle or something and just, you know, to increase their reach. So yeah, I, I will use the, the stuffing out of this thing uh, with projects like clearing this valley down here to, uh, we'd, we'd like to plant some trees down here and stuff. So we need to get rid of all the kind of, uh, junk wood to make room for other things to grow. So, um, but yeah, the, uh, sheath is, I mean, just because of the way the tool is designed, you can't just slide it into a sheath. So it needs this Velcro along the spine for you to slip it in. You can see through use already, the Velcro's pulling apart some of the nylon um, and it's getting a little frayed. It also has this clip. And uh, what's annoying about that is when you're trying to put the tool in to the sheath, okay, gotta kind of work it in there and this will impede the blade coming in. You can see that it's getting hung up right here, and that's not gonna last very long um, as you open and close this. Uh, that's just an added extra, you know, fastener to keep the uh, tool in the sheath. And the Velcro, I mean, once it's in there, it's, it's not coming out. One of my gripes with this sheath though is that it had no way of attaching it to anything. And I'd like to carry this around on a snowmobile or a four-wheeler or a tractor. So um, I took a, uh, a uh, soldering gun, warmed it up and just melted my way through the edge casing here. It's like a nylon and there's like a kind of like a poly, um, thicker like plastic that's in there. So it melts through all that, no problem. Again, I'm, I'm gonna use some paracord here to, cause I really do like the way this works. I'd like also to have it adjustable with like a strap kind of situation. But at the top, you know, some webbing up here would be great to hang it on a hook. And so that's really what I wanted to try to do. So you can hold this on your back, you can hike around. It's right there for when you need it. You just kind of throw it up in the front like this. You can unvelcro it. It's just like a playing guitar. Pull it out and then you're ready to, to help blaze a trail. And uh, a lot of bushwhacking has to happen around here. Okay, so this is really handy for that. So yeah, the Fiskars Brush Axe. I definitely recommend it. Watch your edge. If you know how to finish a good edge again, you know, doesn't need to be shaving sharp or anything, but it does help to have a good edge on a tool to make it safer so you don't have to work as hard. I'd recommend it.